Welcome to Jasmine Masters class. Etiquette. I am Jasmine Masters. Propriety. And I have something to say. Today, we're going to talk about entertaining. That's right. How to treat people when they come in, when you go places, all of that. We're going to mix it all up right now. So me, myself, I love every now and then to have a little entertainment. You know, people come over to the house. You know, I cook up a little food, have a little spread, you know, out with a couple of blends rolled, a couple of drinks mixed. But sometimes when you go over people's house and they try to entertain and it ain't right, that's the problem right there. If you know your place is all up, why are you going to invite somebody over to the house? That don't make no sense. You got kids' clothes on the floor. You got your clothes on the Flow. You got one shoe here, one shoe over there. You have no toilet tissue in the bathroom. When you go like in a dirty bathroom in somebody's house, you know, no tea, no shade. I hate toilets. But when I put my foot up and I lift the back and I, and I see that splatter either on there or around that bottom of that the seat, I just politely put it there. I may say, oh, you know, I left something in the car, I'm gonna pee in the bush. You know, if the bathroom fucked up, do you know in the kitchen? Oh, hell no. Nah. It's one of them dirty cooks. They sample food and do that bull Put the spoon back in there. They cough <coughs> and they go touch the food. See, nah. When you're going to invite somebody over, that's when you have to take that time, put the blunt down, bitch, and you have to start cleaning up because when you invite people over, they looking. They searching. If it ain't right, you're gonna be the talk of the city. They're gonna say, don't go over there. Your food was nasty. Your house is dirty. Your bedroom, Jesus Christ, what the f happened in there? It smelled like funkerade. It smelled like funk, balls, armpits, sweat, nut, doo doo juice. Doo doo juice. Now let's see what I have over here. I know some gypsies done sent me some letters, so let me get my gym. All right. Dear Jasmine, my parents are visiting me at college in a couple of weeks. I literally live in a trap house with some messy ass frat kids. I'm going to cook dinner for my family. The night they arrive, but I'm terrified of telling these dish bag bros to help me clean up. What should I do? Pig style palace. We're a pig style. Let me tell you. This is what you do. It's two ways to go about it. So the nice way, you could be like, hey bro, how you doing today? Guess what? My mom and dad is coming today. Could you please help me clean up around here so they won't see that we live in like some pigs? And then once they leave, we could trash this mother and say it. And then if they don't respond to that, then you go about it stage number two. Hey, mother get your up and clean the up. <laughs> When you start slanking around, they will wake the up. Won't be no more, oh, bro, won't, won't be no more playing the game than doing it. They will get information because they just got some education because you didn't have time for no bullshit. Let's go on to the next letter. All right, and it says, Dear Jasmine, I just moved into a studio apartment. I have a blank cabinet and hardly any furniture. How can I dress it up? to make my such a small space acceptable for entertaining. Love, Jish. Jish, let me tell you what you do. You always start off with what you like first. And if you have a small little spot, you have to make your little bed. And you know they have them curtains and them dividers. You block that off. That way your little room, your bed, that's private. And then you have like maybe one or two chairs. You can find you a nice little love seat. Get you like a chair, a nice little table. And then that way you you and two other friends can sit there and hang out. Find you a good bean bag where people can plop their ass on. When they come, you can lay them out. When they leave, you stack them bitches on top and they just decoration in the corner. You know what I mean? But always making sure you're comfortable with it because please somebody else, that. You know what? Thinking of furniture and moving into the new place, I have a story for you that has took me back. I remember when I first moved into my place. Baby, let me tell you. I didn't want people to come over and they say, I like your new place, 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 place. Because it was roomy and I didn't have no furniture, no cushion to absorb the sound. 
But I remember filling my place up and I felt so good about filling up my place. And I have my little decoration. Then some old bitch I invite over to my house gonna tell me, ooh girl, your wall uh, decoration look cheap. Bitch! Who the f you think you are coming to my house and telling me my $9.99 decoration look cheap that I got for mother Ross, ho? I invite you to my house, you junkie slut. But the bitch ate up all my damn food, though. She was oh, she snarled on everything. Spit her dentures out and mama gnawed on everything. But yeah, she had pissed me off on bitch. I ain't never invited her back over to my house again. So if you ever have somebody come in your house and they tell you they don't like some of your decoration and you happy about it, tell them thank you for your kind words. The store is always open. So if you want to buy me something that you like, I will accept it. Until then, shut the f up and meet yourself outside in the street, whore. What did we learn today? If you're going to entertain at your house, make sure you have it set up the way you want to be treated when you go to someone else's house. And when you're going into someone's house, make sure you are aware of what that bathroom look like. You understand what I'm saying? And then when you decorating your place, decorate it to your liking. And if you have a question you want the gist to answer, right here, right down to the email below. Until then, have a gist mother day and entertain your ass off, horse. Doodle juice.